suppose a cloud of censorship, a hideous censorship, could come here. Well, it's already descended on Great Britain, and it's a danger that we all face. Now, here's the deal. A British citizen faces what he calls a death sentence. What did he do that was wrong? He spoke out against the growing influence of Islam in the United Kingdom, and a judge sentenced a man named Tommy Robinson to 13 months for what he called contempt of court. And all he did, he shot a video of a building where a Muslim gang faced trial for rape. Mm -hmm. And in the process, Mr. Robinson says, well, this is a death sentence because she sent me to prison where those Muslims are and they'll kill me. Wendy? That his arrest has set off protests around the world with claims that the UK is looking more and more like a left-wing dictatorship. Dale Hurd has the story. There have been protests from Downing Street to as far away as Australia. A German parliament member has even offered him political asylum. Stephen Lennon, better known as Tommy Robinson, was arrested Friday for simply filming outside a British court where a Muslim rape gang trial was being held. He was charged with contempt of court and because of a prior suspended sentence, was immediately given 13 months in jail. Some fear it could be a death sentence. As the former leader of the English Defense League and a loud voice warning about the Islamization of Britain, Tommy Robinson has become an important worldwide symbol of resistance to governments that have allowed radical Islam to grow inside their borders. The British government views Tommy Robinson as a troublemaker, and has been prosecuting and jailing him for years. He's been unable to work and has had to move his family several times. His autobiography is fittingly entitled Enemy of the State. How do you feel as a patriot living in a country where you believe the state would like you dead? It's like loving a country that hates you. It's like that, that's how it's felt. Um, I have to look now at the state as an enemy of our people. We spent time with Tommy in his hometown of Luton in 2016, and he told us he's convinced that he's going to be murdered. I, I know I'm going to get killed. I know that there'll be times when people are watching this back when I am killed, and I, I've, I've known that for years. His supporters fear he could be murdered in prison. Lennon took us to a prison which he called an ISIS training camp where he believes he would have been killed by Muslim inmates if he had not forced officials to place him in solitary confinement. His supporters are hoping and praying he survives his 13-month prison sentence. I, I've accepted that if I'm going to go out, I'll go out on my terms. I'm not going to go out wearing a bulletproof vest or hiding. Because morally, what we're doing is right and just. So I may get called and slandered by politicians and media now, but I know the next generation learning our history will know that I was on the right side. Dale heard CBN News. Could that happen here in America? Well, the answer is yes. Many times the things that begin in Great Britain wind up here in America. And the thought that a man would be jailed because he merely filmed a trial dealing with Muslims and then it was killed in contempt of court. And the judge, by the way, put a ban on any uh, reporters covering the story. I mean, it was just a total blackout. And then they're going to put him to prison, and the prison could be a death sentence. It's a horrible thing that, to think about. It, the way. it boggles the mind. Yeah. It, there's no common sense involved. And, you know, we think of England as our friends, but like he says right now, they're an enemy of people that want to do right. They're letting these, uh, in the Midlands of England, they've got these Sharia courts operating where they operate under Islamic law, the Sharia. And uh, uh, listen, folks. This is an insidious, creeping evil that can destroy the freedom of every free-loving American and every free-loving person all over the world because there's nothing free about Islam. It's, it's a totalitarian uh, theocracy that is nothing but evil. Well, in other news, a killing spree in Belgium is now seen as an act of terror. Again, that Allah Akbar is being yelled by what might be an extremist. Efren Graham has that story. 
Pat, the murders of three people in Belgium, including two police officers, are now considered a terrorist attack. An investigator says the attacker shouted Alu Akbar several times during this murder spree. Tuesday, in the city of Liege, the attacker stabbed two female police officers, stole their weapons, and shot them. He also killed a passenger in a car and held one woman hostage before police killed him in a shootout. The man is a Belgian national who was on a two-day leave from prison. Investigators are now trying to see if he became radicalized while in prison. The United